Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. Today is Friday and that means I've got a date tonight. I've been working all morning trying to get a video edited and published and now it's about 12.45 so I've got about two, two, two and a half hours before I have to get in the bath and really start getting myself ready. And during that time, I wanna work on the apartment and try to get things cleaned up, try to get things done that need to get done. I'm always in a crunch on Friday so I'm gonna film as much as I can. Let's go. Okay, the first priority today is to do laundry because I don't have any clean clothes. Well, I have a few clean clothes, but I don't have any of the clean clothes I want to be clean for tonight. So I'm going to do a load of laundry. Friday is also the day that I wash my sheets and I would like to wash my comforter, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to do three loads of laundry um, before my date gets here. I did just talk to him though and he said he might be later than normal because he, it, he has to work late tonight. That gives me a little bit more time and maybe I won't have to rush as much, but priority number one is to get my clothes clean. And then if there's time after that, I'll do the sheets. And then if there's time after that, I'll do the comforter. Okay. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to put the detergent in. You're supposed to put the detergent in first and I always forget, especially when I'm in a hurry. Oh no, I just poured it all over the floor too. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour it in there even though you're not supposed to do that, whatever. They'll get clean enough. So now that I've got the laundry going, I'm going to move into the kitchen and get everything cleaned up in here. Luckily, I cleaned it really good yesterday, so there's not too much to do. I have a skillet that I need to clean. I forgot to wash my skillet when I made that omelet yesterday. I just left it on the stove. I don't know if I just didn't want to wash it and just blocked it out of my mind. That's probably it. So I need to wash that skillet and pretty much just wipe down the counters and sweep and mop in here. It's not gonna take me long at all in the kitchen. The living room and dining room are pretty much clean because I did those yesterday. So I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Oh, I need to clean up the refrigerator. Oh my God, there's still leftovers in there from our last weekend's dinner. I know, I know. Can't let them see that. And I just realized the dishwasher is full of dirty dishes, which is great, which means I don't have to spend time unloading it. I just need to put these couple dog bowls in there and start the dishwasher. And if I have extra space in my dishwasher and I really need to run it, I will just go ahead and put the coffee pot in there too and whatever else I can manage to put in there. I'm gonna wash the skillet by hand because it's one of those non-stick skillets and I just think it'll be easier to wash it by hand. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw the coffee pot in there. I really need to wash out my coffee pot with uh, vinegar, but we don't have time for all that today. Today, we're just trying to get things clean on the surface as much as possible. All right, let's get this started. of the dishwasher while I finish cleaning the kitchen. Luckily, we don't have too much left to do in here. I'm gonna take my homemade cleaner that I made in the vlog before last and use that to wipe down on my counters real quick and make it smell nice and fresh and lemony in here. I mean, how many times can you watch me wipe down a counter? I don't know. Let's find out what the magic number is before everybody unsubscribes. So sick of watching Cindy wipe down her counters, God. And I always feel like I'm in such a rush on Friday because I'm just like, I want to get everything done and make sure I have plenty of time to get ready. Now, this guy, he has seen my apartment an absolute disaster a couple of times, but I don't want him to think that I live like that all the time because I don't. It was, it was during the weeks that I was like traveling and I just didn't have a lot of time to clean and stuff was everywhere. Um, but I feel like I've been doing pretty well lately of keeping everything clean. Like I don't have too much to do today. Okay, shoot. I gotta wash this pan now, I forgot, damn it. So my new dishwashing liquid that I made, the, something's wrong with this pump. I'm gonna have to get a new pump. So I'm having to just like pour it out, which really sucks because I used too much. Um, I gotta get a new pump top though. And I think I have some one somewhere. I just gotta dig it out. I'm just gonna use some of that to like get the grease and stuff out of this pan, wash it up really good. And then we'll put it in the dish rack. And then all the dishes in the house will be done. Hooray. And I did turn off the water after I finished talking. All right, now I'm gonna clean out the sink with my cleaner, make sure it's all nice and shiny. And just let me be your cleaning motivation today, even if you don't have guests coming over when you're watching this. You can get up and clean with me, put me on in the background, listen to me drone on and on about my boring ass life while you clean. Clean your hole, guys, keep it clean. I need to take my own advice. Okay, now I'm gonna move over here to this side. I got like egg and crap all over the place over here that needs to be cleaned up. Um, I probably need to clean out the microwave uh, because we do sometimes use that on the weekends. I'm gonna clean off the stove, which definitely needs it. 
since I cooked bacon on it and it's also got like an accumulation of dust here because it wasn't used. My stove wasn't used in so long that it started to get dusty. That's sad, isn't it? You know, when you live alone, you don't always want to cook for yourself. And I honestly don't cook for myself a lot. And if I do, it's in the air fryer. I don't use the stove a lot. I never use the oven. Let's see what the inside of the microwave looks like. Not too bad. It could use a little bit of a wipe down though. Okay, that's better. Good enough anyway. Okay, the kitchen's done. The only thing I have left to do in here is the floors and I do those very last and I do all the floors at once. Oh no, how could I forget? I had a few things delivered from Walmart this morning. So let me show you what I got and put it away. So I wanted to actually leave the house and run errands today, but I knew once I woke up at like nine o'clock, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna have time to go to Walmart and do everything I need to do, including editing a video. So I just had my stuff delivered. It's free because I'm a Walmart Plus member. So um, here's what I got. The dogs were out of their little um, sticky sticks that I give them at night, so I got a package of those. Then I was almost out of pain reliever, um, so I went ahead and got some Advil liquid gels. These are my favorite pain reliever. I think they work the fastest. Um, so yeah, I just got a little thing of those because I only had two left. I bought some of this to try, and I'm gonna try this today actually, this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer um, right here, and I'm gonna try this with my makeup tonight. So I'll let you guys know how it is, if I like it or not. Somebody recommended it to me in a comment and I thought I would try it. I usually don't use primer, but I have a lot of like, little like pits and bumps and scars and stuff. And I wanted to try to make my makeup look a little bit smoother. So yeah, I'm gonna try this out. It also has hyaluronic acid and vegan collagen, whatever the hell that means. And I had to get some more of my Gillette Mach 3 razor blades because I was out of those as well. And I was also out of nail polish remover. So I got this professional nail polish remover, 100% pure acetone. Um, yeah, because I painted my nails last night, wicked, to match my wicked toenails. <laughs> I also needed some more coffee because the guy I'm seeing does not like hazelnut and hazelnut is all I have in the fridge right now. So I got um, this maple pecan Starbucks. I was almost out of my favorite bubble bath, so I had to get some more of that. This is the Dr. Teal's Soothe and Sleep Lavender, and I use this every time I take a bath, which is pretty much every night. And I got some uh, borax, which I needed in a cleaning recipe that I made in the vlog before last and didn't have any, so I bought myself a box of borax. We can have that in the future for any recipes I need it in. And finally, the last thing I got are these pepperoni uh, mozzarella cheese wraps. I love these things. They are so good. It's just mozzarella cheese wrapped in pepperoni. So I got a pack of these just so I could have like some snacks around or something. I don't know. I just like them and I pick up a pack every once in a while. They're really good. They also have like a prosciutto one and a salami one, but the pepperoni one is my favorite. Okay, that was my little Walmart haul. So now I am gonna go put all that stuff away and we're gonna move on to the next room. Okay, y'all, we're back to the laundry now. I have to take this comforter that I washed yesterday out of the dryer, put my clothes in, and then we're gonna start the sheets. It's already 2 p.m., but I think I'm probably gonna have at least three or four hours before he gets here. Don't know exactly, but he's very good about keeping me informed about time frame and when he's, what he's doing and when he's gonna be here and stuff. He's very reliable, which I appreciate very much. Oh my God, I just realized that I washed a roll. Oh crap. <laughs> Oh my God, these must have been in one of my pockets. These are the dog poop bags that I take with me when I go outside to walk the dogs and I guess I left them in one of my pockets and they got washed. Okay, great. That's cool, I guess. I think I got all of them out of here. Oh my God. Gotta remember to check my own pockets before I do laundry. Now there's like wet pieces of cardboard from the little roll in there. Oh God, I gotta go throw this away. Okay, now I'm gonna get these clothes dry and then I'm gonna go get the sheets off the bed. Okay, we're about to get the bedding off the bed. I really need to wash the comforter so I hope I can wash the sheets and the comforter. Um, but this, I just kind of made this my Friday routine. Like this is the day that I wash my bedding. Just makes it easier for me to do it on the same day every week. I try to do my laundry on Thursday so I can do my bedding on Friday, but sometimes, you know, it gets away from you. And you're like, shit, I gotta do laundry and bedding today. Crap, uh, sorry Morty, you're gonna have to get up, buddy. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get up so I can get the sheet off. But I like to wash my sheets once a week, you know, at least, but definitely once a week. What is that? Oh shit, <laughs> that's my belt. That's where that went. <laughs> 
I'm glad I found that, my wide belt. Sometimes things just get crazy and you don't know where the hell your belt went. I don't know what to say. I wish I could wash my comforter and my sheets at the same time. That would be so much better, but they just won't all fit in my washing machine. And look at me remembering to put my detergent in first. By the way, I am using seventh generation fresh lavender um, detergent. I used up all that Tide that I had, so now I'm using this. And I love the smell of it. All right, we're gonna get that going and move on to the next thing. So luckily, because I cleaned up yesterday, the living room and dining room are in pretty good shape. Um, the only thing I really need to do in here is vacuum. Isn't that right, Mortimer? Isn't that right? Isn't that right, buddy? Yes, oh my God, you're so cute. We gotta get that tummy. We gotta get that little tum tum. Yes, we do, we gotta get that little tum tum. Look at him. <laughs> oh my God, he's too cute for words. I can't even stand it. I can't even stand it. You're so sweet. There's my little Bell Bells. Go look at the picture I put of Bella on Instagram today, how she was laying in the uh, bed. It was so cute. So the next thing I'm gonna clean is the whole bathroom, okay? So I gotta put up my Dr. Teals. I just put it in here. And I'm gonna put it under the sink. Let me put the camera somewhere. If I put you on the toilet, I'm gonna put my Dr. Teals under here. Nope, under here, somewhere. I have this old Irish spring that used to be Andrew's and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm just gonna put it under here. I'm not gonna say that. Okay, and I had some more like soap stuff I needed to put under there. So got the counter pretty much cleaned off. Um, let me straighten up this toothpaste that will not fit in there. Okay, we'll just put it right there. This energy cleansing candle that a subscriber got me, I pretty much burned it all the way down. But I couldn't let go of it because I love it so much. I think I can still burn it a little bit longer and get the stones out of it too. So I just kind of leave it in here like a bathroom candle. Move this, my little homemade soap over there. And then all I have to do is wipe all this down. Um, I'm gonna clean the toilet, which I will not make you watch me do. Somebody put that toilet paper on there backwards and it was not me. Oh, I can't stand it. It's backwards. Oh my God, I'm struggling with this toilet paper roll. Get on there. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I gotta take the trash out and clean the bathtub. Cause I get, this is the bathtub that I take a bath in to like shave my legs and stuff or just take a bubble bath. This is also my guest shower. All right, I'm gonna use my lemon kitchen cleaner in here too because I don't think I have any bathroom cleaner made up either. And I don't really wanna use bleach just for this because it doesn't really need it. So I'm just gonna clean this off. Um, there's just like dust and stuff. It gets dusty in here after like a week. So I try to wipe it down once a week. And yeah, it just, nobody uses this, this sink and stuff during the week at all. So it just gets like dust built up on it and stuff. But I do use the bathtub during the week to take my baths. It's just a nicer bathtub than the one in my bathroom. That's why I like to use it. Okay, so I'm getting short on time. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this bathroom. I'm gonna clean the toilet and the uh, bathtub, and then I'm gonna go clean my bathroom. And my bathroom is really, really bad. I'll show you the before and after. It's five minutes until three o'clock and I still have to clean my bathroom and do the floors in the entire house and get ready. And he could be here in as little as two hours. So. Um, let me just show you the before of my bathroom and then I'll show you the after because I don't think I'm gonna have time to film me actually cleaning it. So this is what my countertop looks like. <laughs> it's, it is such a mess, man. I got shit everywhere. And then just like the toilet needs to be cleaned, the bathtub needs to be cleaned, the sink needs to be cleaned, there's like hair everywhere, it's not cute. Oh, I bought some perfume, let me show you this. I wanted to smell nice. So I bought some perfume. This is Happy by Clinique. And oh my God, it smells so good. I was having such a hard time trying to find any perfume that I like the smell of. I love this stuff. It smells very citrus and kind of floral at the same time. It smells fantastic. So I'm gonna wear this tonight and on all my dates probably um, because I was wearing lavender oil, but it just like wears off too fast. So yeah, I actually got this on eBay. If you go to the Clinique website, it's like $90 for the size of a bottle. I got it for $26 on eBay. So 
Check eBay for perfumes. That's a tip for you, especially expensive ones. You can get a great deal. And it came like factory sealed, so I'm pretty sure that's the real thing. But even if it's not, it was only 26 bucks and it smells fantastic. Okay, he just texted and said he probably doesn't have to work late after all. So I've got to get my ass in gear, y'all. That means I've literally got like two to two and a half hours to get all of this stuff done. I can do it. I believe in myself. The force is with me. Okay, I don't have to rush as much. He's gonna be here at 5.30 to six. So one thing I really like about this guy is he is so considerate of me and like always lets me know like exactly what time he's going to be here. If anything changes, he lets me know right away. He just sent me a text saying like, I'm going to be done with work at four and I got to do this. I'll be done at five and I'll be at your house like 530 to six and I'll let you know if anything changes. And I just think that's the sweetest thing. I don't know why, just that, that little thing is just so like nice and considerate, you know? I don't know. I know I don't tell you guys a lot about him because I do want to protect his privacy, but I don't think there was any identifying information in that, so I think we're safe. So it's a little after three, so I have about two and a half hours, so I can slow down a little bit on my speed cleaning. I'm gonna go finish the bathroom and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, y'all, the bathroom is clean, except for the floors. But anyway, I cleaned off my whole counter, straightened everything up. I mean, that's as clean as it gets. I always have my caboodle open with all my makeup just displayed right there. <laughs> Cause I just need this stuff at arm's reach, you know? And I clean the bathtub, clean the toilet. The only thing I have left to do are the floors in the entire house. And then also um, the bed, but I'm still waiting on stuff to dry. So that might take a while. So I'm gonna start with the kitchen floors. I also have to take the trash out, but I'm waiting to do that until very last. I'm gonna shake out my kitchen rugs put them in there, move my overflowing trash can out of the way, pick up the dog bowls and the dog mat, and then I'm going to sweep and mop really quick in the kitchen. And the dryer just stopped, so I need to uh, switch out the clothes or get my clothes out of the dryer and put the sheets in the dryer. It is 3.30 right now, so I have about two hours before he gets here. So I think I'm doing pretty good on time. We're having a casual day this weekend, so I'm not like putting on a fancy dress or anything, but I do want to look cute, you know. So I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. I gotta see what the temperature is outside. I think it's hot as fucking balls out there, like it is every day. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear jeans. I don't know, y'all. I meant, I wanted to go to Old Navy today and get me some more shorts, but I just didn't have time. So I'm gonna have to do that next week. Let me finish uh, sweeping here and then I'm gonna run a Swiffer over it because I am not getting out of the mop bucket today. Ain't nobody got time for that. We're just gonna swiffer it and call it good. And if you see any like little spots left on the floor, those are like, um, it's like damage to the tile. It's not stuff, anything that can be swept up. It's like the tile has, I don't know. It, it's like something heavy has been dropped on the tile and it made like a gash in it. it drives me crazy. Cause I always think that I'm missing things when I'm sweeping and mopping. I'm like, did I miss that? No, it just won't come up because it's damaged. It's not trash. All right, I'm going to let that dry while I go do the bathroom floors. Okay, well, let me get everything out of here, the rug and the trash can, and then we can sweep this up. There's not much in here because, like I said, this bathroom really only gets used on the weekends except for my baths. And I don't like track a lot of dirt in here or anything, but you know, stuff gets in here and the dogs come in here and stuff, but it's never too bad. There's like some grass because they mowed our grass outside the apartment, but they left all the clippings behind. So like every time we went outside to walk the dogs, we would just like drag in all these wet grass clippings. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Just gonna sweep that up and then we're gonna swiffer in here. Just gonna do a real quick swiffering. I feel like all you can see is my torso. I'm, I'm headless. Someday I'm gonna get a nice camera that has a big wide lens so you can see everything. Someday. Okay, I gotta grab the camera now. 
I'm, I'm mopping myself into a corner over here. Finally, I'm gonna do my bathroom. I'm gonna get the trash can out, bath mat out, shake it out, get the scale out, and then I'm just gonna sweep it up. Again, it's a small room, it doesn't get too bad, but I still like to sweep it and mop it at least once a week. I, there's a lot of hair that builds up in here because I lose my hair, especially when I'm standing here like blow drying it and stuff. You cannot see anything but like my legs and part of the broom, I'm sorry. Now I'm just gonna go back around the house and put all the rugs and trash can and all that kind of stuff back in the rooms. One thing I love about the Swiffer is it dries so fast. I need to figure out how to make my own like natural Swiffer solution. That would be perfect, I think. Um, and I think you can even get like reusable pads for it too to make it a little bit more environmentally friendly. So yeah, I'm gonna go get all the rooms that I just swept and mopped back, back in order. Then I just have to vacuum. By then it'll be probably a little after four and I'll have to start getting ready immediately. Y'all, he's literally gonna be here in 15 minutes. Um, he's gonna be like 15 minutes earlier than he thought so I've been rushing around trying to get ready I got my makeup on which I love the putty primer I think it looks really good and it really helped my makeup look smooth we'll see how it works throughout the night and I'll let you guys know um, my outfit is just last, pod last podcast shirt and jeans that's it that's all I'm doing and these jeans are getting so baggy in the ass man <sighs> jeez I, I feel like I have no bottoms that really fit me We've gotta go clothes shopping next week. Anyway, I got my hair done, got my makeup done, about to put my socks and shoes on. Um, so when he gets here, we can go get some food. I will try to vlog some this weekend, depending on what happens, depending on what we do, I don't know. If not, thank you very much for watching this vlog and getting ready with me, and I'll see you in the next one. If there's some extra footage that I have over the weekend, enjoy. Bye. We are at the beach today. It's Saturday. I haven't been able to film much, but um, I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful beach. Look at all the trees and the clouds. It's so beautiful here. Um, this is in Hot Springs Village and a boat just went by, so there's a lot of waves coming up. Um, but this is where I've been going to swim. It's really lovely. Get some B-roll here. Of course, a lot of the founders ones they got like that.